What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Salamence team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Salamence, its best feature in competitive is its ability Intimidate. Everybody knows how strong Intimidate is, considering Incineroar is one of the best Pokemon in competitive due to that ability. But this Salamence over here is not just an Intimidate user. It is Rocket Choice Scarf as item outspeeding a lot of different Pokemon with some very strong moves such as Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Flamethrower. So I'm going to absolutely love this Salamence today and hopefully use it for you guys to grab you guys some wins. Our restricted Pokemon on today's squad going to be Zamazenta. Zamazenta phenomenal in ranked regulation G. Top tier, I should say, with Dauntless Shield and the Rusted Shield. With Iron Defense, Body Press, Heavy Slam, and Protect, arguably the best moveset for this Pokemon. Our other four Pokemon on today's team feature Shen Pao, Rillaboom, Ting Lu, and Pelipper. Pelipper going to be great for weather control and pairing up with Salamence so we can use Stab, Hurricane, and land it 100% of the time. Rillaboom is going to be great for terrain control, Shen Pao, big time physical attacker, and Ting Lu, a great Pokemon to lower all that special attack on the field. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Salamence in Regulation G. So guys, it's a brand new month, which means it's a brand new season. So we are starting off the season 0-0, 0-0, 0-0 wins, 0 losses. Looking for our first win in the brand new season. Going up against a Ice Rider Cadillac Trick Room team with Ursaluna, Cresselia, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, and last but not least, Wellspring Ogre Pond. Um, Trick Room going to be a little bit of a problem for us, but they do have a lot of special attackers besides Calyrex. Well, really their only special attacker is going to be Ursaluna, I should say. So do I want to bring Team Lu? Tinglu's not bad. Intimidate gonna be good. I might just want to lead Salamence here with the Choice Scarf. Maybe just look to get off some big time damage. That's not bad. I could boost defense here as well. I like it. I actually like this a lot. I'm gonna go into both of them. In the back end, I am going to go into, I think, Rillaboom. Should I bring Rillaboom here? I got Taunt. Maybe I should lead Rillaboom. Taunt or Trick Room user? Oh, yeah. We are so in for that. We are so in for taunting the Trick Room user. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Salamence in the back end now. And then last but not least, go into Shen Pao. Or Wide Guard Pelipper. Wide Guard Pelipper. Yeah. Totally forgot that this thing has Wide Guard. It could stop Hyper Voices and Glacial Lances. We love that thing. Pelipper, Wide Guard. Awesome Pokemon. So let's see who they end up leading here. By the guess, it's probably going to be like Crest, Calyrex, or Crest something else, or Calyrex. It's either Crest or Calyrex, right? Probably one of them with Incineroar. And it's going to be Crest Razor Bolt, which isn't too bad. I mean, you could have the Mental Herb on you. That is a possibility. Which is a little scary. Um, You could have Cobra Cloak on it as well. I, I think I'd rather taunt this thing than fake it out, right? I think that's what I'd rather do. But Protosynthesis is going to pop from the Raging Bolt. Um, do we want to Terrasize you into Grass? I kind of do, right? I kind of do. You can hit me pretty hard with electric moves. I mean, by going in the grass, that could be good for us. I'm going to Terrasize and go for Iron Defense here. And at the same time, we're just going to go straight into a uh, a Taunt here early on. I just don't feel like taking a Draco Meteor, right? Draco Meteor is terrifying. We just don't want that. And he's Booster Energy, which I believe is into Special Attack. So... I mean, no, I didn't mean Draco Meteor. I meant like a big time Thunderbolt or something because he could Electric Terror and kind of just boost Electric moves. So I just think going Grass is fine for us. So we're going to Iron Defense up. We're going to Taunt instead of Fake Out the Crest. Thunderbolt is going to fly. So this was a great call for us. We end up soaking rather well. And you get a crit. Okay, I was going to say that did a little bit more damage than I thought it would. So we Taunt the Crest, hoping that Trick Room is popping here. It should be, right? Unless you're Mental Herb. You're Mental Herb. I should have just faked you out. Are you kidding me? Now you get off Trick Room for free. A little ugly. We don't like that too much, but um, we'll deal with it. We'll play this one slow. We'll get back some HP with Zamazenta, and I think just protecting Zamazenta is going to be a call here. So I'm going to protect Zamazenta. Um, I could go into a wood hammer. Um, I could swap you as well. I think I'm going to Pelipper. Uh, what do I want to do here? Because we got to waste out tricking turns here. Maybe swap it into like Salamence here might be your call. Just swapping Rubu, maybe just swapping it back next turn. Huh. What do I want to do here? I want to swap him in either into Pelipper or Salamence. Hmm. I 
I'm just going to Palbreer. I hope they just attack this, uh... I hope they just attack this, uh... This Samazenta, right? If we can waste out a turn here. Hopefully they're not swapping. That'd be kind of a pain in the neck for us. But I don't think they're swapping, considering we swap first. I should've just faked out last turn. That could've been nice. It could've been lovely if we faked out last turn. But I ended up protecting. He is going to ally switch. This makes me think that he's still going after Samazenta. And he is with Draco Meter, so that's fine by me. That is fine by me. So he wastes out that turn. Um, we get back a little bit more HP. I don't want to swap Zamazenta. That's my, that's my one problem. I really don't want to swap him. I'm still going to go into the body press into that slot. And I think we should just double down into Zamazenta. Honestly, I don't really have any good moves. I mean, we might just want to go into a weather ball. Let's swap back in Robum here. Maybe he might go for Thunderbolt here. Thing is, can we survive a Draco meter? I don't know. That's my problem. I'm gonna swap into Robum again. I'm gonna swap into Robum. He's gonna swap Crest here. If he swaps Crest, we're able to go into Robum, have Fake Out ready to go next turn. And I could even just protect next turn. You're gonna go into Incineroar, which is. That's fine. He's gonna Intimidate. That's fine. I don't mind that. He's gonna have Fake Out ready to go. Fake Out is ready to go. So we get back out Rollboom here. We're gonna hope, fingers crossed, that Thunderbolt is gonna fly into Rollboom slot, but chances are he's gonna go for another Draco Meteor here. Oh no, he is going for Thunderbolt, so we're wasting out Trick Room turns. Hold up, wait a minute. Trick Room turns being wasted out. Body Press gonna fly and dump on the Raging Bolt. That's a big time KO for us. That's a monster KO for us. A monster KO. Now we gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room, because I would think they'd be bringing out Ice Rider Calyrex now. Yeah, Ice Rider Calyrex can come through here. Um, we gotta get out Pelper for Wide Guard, right? Two turns left in Trick Room. We obviously want to protect here. We obviously want to protect you here. I could go for Fake Out, but I think getting Pelper out here is is in our best interest. If I had to guess, you gotta be going after Zombies at the, at least the Fake Out, right? You could be faking out Robum. But the problem with you faking out Robum is Pelper's gonna have to at least soak up a Glacial Lance. And I mean, if you don't, we get to bring out Robum and just fake out the next turn and waste out Trick Room. Okay, you know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with either Sacrifice or Pelper or keep it on the field. Alright. Playing this one slow. I don't. I like the Grass Terror type for that Raging Bolt. Now I don't like it at all. We're sitting here up against Incineroar and Calyrex. And he's gonna end up just. That's fine by me. Just protecting Calyrex. No big deal. No big deal. Because now I got Pelper out on the field, and I am I have Wide Guard ready to go. Cool, so we just waste out yet another turn. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Alright, so from here, I think we might just want to... Do we dump on the... Or do we go after the Calyrex, or do we go after the Incineroar? Because Incineroar, we can just KO easily with Body Press. But I think going after Calyrex is definitely in our best interest. I'm going to go for Wide Guard here. I'm going to go for Body Press into Calyrex slot. And this will be the last turn Trick Room. So we still have Salamence, which is great. They still have Crest, which is kind of annoying. But we'll see a Terra pop out here, which could be Incineroar Ghost. Here's to see. No, it's going to be Calyrex. Water? What you got? Ground. Okay. I don't mind ground. I don't I don't, I don't. don't mind ground. I mean, what's that for? High horsepower? Like, what you got ground? What, what are you defense is Terra for? Maybe for Heavy Slam? That's fine. Good thing we're going into Body Press. But he's going to choose to go into Zen Headbutt, which is no big deal. I'll take Rocky Helmet damage. Knockoff's gonna fly. And they're just doubling down to Pelper here, which is cool by me. So they take out Pelper. I can now bring out Salamence if I want to and just intimidate. Which is actually good for us. I hope we at least get one more turn in the rain. But Body Press gonna bring you down real low. Super low. And again, I can just go into Salamence and try to clean up this, this match, right? Grass is gone. We should have one turn left in rain. Maybe two. But Salamence is going to be great. We'll intimidate. We'll probably force him to swap out his Incineroar. And we'll see what move we want to choice into. We shall see what move we want to choice into. How many turns left in rain? One. Do I really want to choice into Hurricane with one turn left? Not really. Not really. We are going to go for the Body Press into this slot. Um... I think I'd rather choice in Dragon Pulse, right? Get that stab boost. Have that accuracy. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And we'll just throw this into the Calyrex slot. Alright. 
Sounds like a plan. And he just cancels match. So great first match for us. Swapping in and out, wasting Trick Room, forcing them just to cancel the match. We've been playing so well on the rank ladder as of recently, and that last match kind of shows it. We swapped out perfectly, wasted out five turns of Trick Room, no problem, then got out our Salamence next to our Salamazenta, and we're ready to just sweep the match. But obviously, our opponent canceled, so we get the win regardless. We're going up against a Lunala team here in match number two with Urshifu, Rillaboom, uh, Iron Jug, I was going to call it Hydreigon. I haven't seen Hydreigon on the ladder in a while, which kind of annoyed me. I like Hydreigon. And then they got Umbreon and Chiyu. So, looking at this, they got a few special attackers. So, Tinglu could be good. They got four out of their six Pokemon are special attacking. Um, Urshifu could be annoying. I mean, Salamence could be nice, especially with that Choice Scarf. We might want to lead it. Do we want to lead it? And just get the rain going? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I mean, obviously, Rillaboom could be annoying because they could fake out. But then we got two Hurricane users. That's great for us. That is great, and we can intimidate if they want to lead Rollboom. So that's fine by me. We'll bring Samusenta in the back end. And last but not least, I think we want to go Ting Lu here. Vessels of Ruins could be really nice. Plus, you got Snarl. You got all that good stuff. You could lead Lunala, which eh, could be a little bit of a problem. But we'll deal with that at, when the time comes. So we'll bring Ting Lu in the back end. No Shen Pao so far today, which is kind of weird to say because in previous formats, like maybe a year ago, Shen Pao was on like every team, and you just wanted Shen Pao on your squad. But now we're sitting here, Regulation G. I don't want Shen Pao right now. I just think we're better off not using it. Even though it's still a very strong Pokemon, I still don't mind it here in Rank G. It just says its usage has just dipped a little bit, right? It has dipped a little bit. But they're going to end up leading these two Pokemon, which not bad for us. Umbreon and Chiyu. I mean, we can Weather Ball that Chiyu down. Um, we could choice into Hurricane, which is probably in our best interest, right? Get that stab boost. Big time damage. It's not missing. We don't have to worry about accuracy. I think that's our best interest, just to go into Hurricane. So we could end up hard swapping into maybe Rollaboom here. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to Hurricane on, obviously, the Umbreon here. We'll play it safe. And I could Wygrad if I want to, but I think Weather Ball is going to be my play. You could Snarl. You could Snarl, but I think we're fine here. I think we're fine here with the Weather Ball Hurricane kind of combo. Umbreon is a bulky Pokemon, and I am scared of Snarl, but hopefully we'll get some ducks here. Show me the ducks! Show me the ducks! No ducks. You end up going for a Will-O-Wisp, which Salamence is going to dodge, and Weather Ball is going to fly out here. Will-O-Wisp into Salamence. They thought I was physical attacking, and Pelipper says bye-bye to Chiyu. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. So now let's see what Umbreon does. He's going to set up a Reflex, so screens Umbreon getting after it. I don't like that. I don't like versing screens. I like using screens. I hate versing screens. It's so annoying. Nothing's worse when you're doing like negative five damage per hit. And now they're going to get out Lunala. So yeah, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. We're just going to keep attacking, I guess. I could set up a Tailwind if I want to. I could go into Weather Ball. Um, you are terrifying me. I mean, I'm going to honestly double down Hurricane and just look for Ducks, right? Let's try to get some RNG rolling with this. Double Hurricane. Double Hurricane, double chances of Ducks. Let's at least get one. No, we ain't getting Ducks this game. Oh, my, oh no. We got to force this thing to, like, terrestrialize or something. Come on, boosting out here. I'm going to hard swap into Tinglu here. Give me Ducks. Give me Ducks. We don't get no Ducks. Oh, no. No Ducks. Come on now. This is going to be a tough one for us. I wonder if they're going to combine again. We might want to swap here into Ting Lu. It just starts snarling. Pelipper's taking some damage. Oh, man. Oh, man, Paloops. We don't like that one bit. We're going to drop another Hurricane. I mean, we're better off going after Lu now or uh, Umbreon here. And saving our Zamazenta because Zamazenta can't really do anything up against Lunala, that ghost type. We have to kind of force it to Terrasalize. And if we can get that thing to Terrasalize, which, which I don't think it will... The only way it will terrestrialize is if we don't show Zamazenta. Once we show Zamazenta, they'll keep their ghost typing. But if that thing terrestrializes, we have a hot shot at winning this game. But right now, it's not looking good with Reflect out here and uh, this thing Combine boosts it. So I'd love to get out Ting Lu here, put the Vessels of Ruin on the field for the Special Attackers, and then just start snarling away, trying to just slow play it. But the Poisons, man. The Toxics coming out here, not look good either. We don't like that. We do not like that. So this is looking like they're trying to, they're gonna, they are gonna try to stall out. Alright. So we got Ting Lu. Let's see how this one plays out here. 
We can land another hurricane. Can we get ducks all day? No ducks yet? Do, do we just not get ducks from this anymore? It's my fourth hurricane I dropped, and I just don't get ducks. No ducks for me at all. Moonblast gonna fly and. Oh, Salmon Sprouts. I, I was gonna say we're dead tonight. Oh, but they doubled down. Okay, so not bad. Again, we can't really show Zombies empty yet. This is annoying. We need some crits, man. More than anything. We need some crits. Bring back out Pelipper. Um, man, dude. Don't like this. Don't like this. We'll go for... Do I even go for ducks here? Just stick with Weather Ball. We're not getting any ducks. And we'll go for Snarl. I don't want to go after Umbreon here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch my Weather Ball over to Umbreon. So we'll go after Umbreon. Try to land some Snarls here. Maybe I should have went for Tailwind, but... I think Pelipper should be fast on the field. Honestly, Lunala might outspeed it. But I know we're faster than Umbreon. I'm hoping, I'm hoping Pelipper's fast on the field because then we go for Weather Ball this turn. If we survive the poisons and attacks, we could just go into a, uh, a Tailwind next turn. But they end up swapping Umbreon, which is fine by me. I didn't really want to put poisons on me. They're going to go into Urshifu, which kind of sucks a little bit. This thing in the rain. <laughs> Don't like it. Might be forced to terrestrialize our... Uh... We might be forced to terrestrialize our Ting Lu here. Might be forced to terrestrialize Ting Lu. The Snarl flies here are going to be not very effective. We're just using it for special attack drops. And Lunala is going to get back a little bit more HP. All right. I see you. I understand. I understand. Poison chunking us up a little bit. Just a tad bit. And I feel like we have to go into Hurricane in this slot. And what terror type you got? You got Ghost? I'm still going to go into it. I'm still using my terror here. I have to get off some Snarls. Did I protect on you? Actually, protect wouldn't even do anything. Protect would not do anything for us. God dang, Urshifu just chilling here. So I'm going to use my Terra just so Surgeon Strikes isn't going to be super effective. And who knows, maybe they might be going for close combat, which would be an absolute blessing. But I doubt it, right? I really do doubt it. This Lunala is annoying me, man. This Lunala needs to go. This Lunala needs to go. Don't want it here. We simply don't want it here. So we're going to use our Terra. Bring out the Ghost Terra type. They still got Umbreon in the back end. And don't they have one more Pokemon or did we KO it? I'm trying to think. Did we KO it early on? I can't even think of who it was. Can't even think of the final Pokemon. They're going to end up detecting, which is no big deal. That's fine. They get a read on what we're going into. Now they got Moongeist Beam. Who are you going after? Pelipper dies out, man. God dang Pelipper. Now we're sitting a ghost type. This is just not good for us. This is just not good. I mean, Snarl's going to help us out a little bit here. We got Vessel of Ruin out here. We got Assault Vest. Moon Guys being is something scary. Snarl's doing okay damage. But they have Reflect out here, which we hate. Rain's going to stop, which actually benefits us. The rain stops. They might protect Lunala this turn. And Reflect is gone. So Reflect's gone. We get to bring out the Zama. The Zamazenta. And we're going to try to make a comeback here. We're going to try to make a comeback. But who did we already KO? Oh, it was the Chi early on. We just weatherballed that thing down. Couldn't think of it. Um, from here, Body Press is going to be in our best interest just to KO you. Um, we might as well go into another Snarl, right? We might as well. We might as well. So we got this thing... He's not minus one. I think he's neutral now, or did he only co did he combine once or did he combine twice? I think he combined once. He could have combined twice, but Moon Guys Beam could still do a nice chunk of damage into us. I am Vessel to Ruin. I am Assault Vest, which is nice. So a special defense is through the roof right now. But they might just protect Lunala and attack me. But I'm hoping Body Press can just KO. Oh, Body Press out speeds and KOs. We love it. We love you, Zamazenta. That's big time for us. That's big time. Chance our Moon Guys being fine through here. It is. How much damage? Do not get a crit. How much damage are you doing? It's decent. It's decent. You got a crit. What did I just say? I said don't get a crit. This thing gets a crit. This thing gets a crit. Absurd. So absurd. 
don't get a crit. My, my only request this battle, do not get a crit. It gets a crit. It gets a crit. So Umbreon comes through here. Um, they still have Terra, don't they? I'm still gonna go into body press in this slot. And I'm still gonna rock snarl here. They get a crit, man. Oh my lord. There goes Terra. There goes Terra. Is it gonna be Lunala? There's no way. It's gotta be Umbreon, right? Are you ghost Umbreon? You might be ghost Umbreon. You're poison. Okay, I can deal with poison. I can deal with poison. I can deal with poison. Honestly, Ting Lu might be able to eat up another Moonglaze Beam. Body Press gonna fly through here. Not gonna pick up the KO or not really do too much damage. But we really need us to soak this Moonglaze Beam. More than anything. We do soak it. Do you go before Umbreon? You don't. And Foul Play's gonna finish us off. Man, that hurts. That hurts the soul, man. If you don't get a crit there, we should be fine. Honestly, Foul Play might have still been KOing us. Wish we would have just been able to outspeed. Um, do I Iron Defense? Bulk here? Really doesn't help us out at all. Really doesn't help us out at all. I could start going for heavy slams. It will be neutral. Yeah, I'm gonna go for heavy slam and Umbreon. We well, might even protect here. Heavy slam. Can you KO? Mmm. Mmm. Really wanted to KO. This thing's gonna calm my boots. You better knock it off. You better knock it off. What are you going for here? Foul play? Toxic? I'm steel type. Reflect. Smart. Smart customer. That would have been nice for us to go do that. Um, we got a KO on Brown. We got a KO on Brown before anything. I know Umbreon's not Rocket Protect. We don't want the Wish Up. Get some HP back. Tough, tough, tough. But a good second match. Great second match. So I wonder what... I gotta check out your stats. He's bulked on Special Defense, but Special Defense doesn't matter. Um... Can't hit you with body press. I doubt heavy slams really doing anything, right? I doubt heavy slams doing anything. But that crit on that moon guys beam really, really throws me off. But foul play still might have been KOing us due to our terror type. And honestly, we didn't even need a terror type, which sucks. I would have loved to have our dark and ground typing. We terrestrialize as like a safe precaution Urshifu, who just ended up detecting regardless. So it's kind of tough. Kind of tough news. He ends up calm mind boosting again. Special attack going through the roof. Through the roof. And we all know Zamazenta doesn't do too well with special attacking. It's a defensive bulk Pokemon. Alright. So let's see. What are you? Plus two? Plus one. Might be able to deal with that. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think Heavy Slam is really doing a lot of damage. Just saying, it goes off of weight, right? And Lunala is a pretty pretty big Pokemon. I mean, technically it, it doesn't really weigh that much because it's a ghost, right? It shouldn't really be weighing that much, but in Pokemon knowledge, it, it weighs a lot I'm pretty sure. It weighs a lot. Not bad damage. Reflect really helping him out there. Moon Guys Beam. How much damage you do? Plus one. Less than half? Less than half. More than half. Oh man, we need it to be less than half. We need it to be less than half. If that was less than half, we had a shot. How many turns are left in Reflect? Two. They might protect this turn, so I'm not going to protect them. I'm just going to go for Heavy Slam. No, they don't even protect. So Heavy Slam flies. <gasps> and we get the crit! The revenge critical hit. I'm sorry. I got to apologize to our opponent. I feel so bad for that one. But hey, 2-0. Let's go. I got to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. I feel terrible. But hey, it was a revenge critical hit. They got a crit on me. The game was just returning the favor, giving me some RNG. We pick up a wild crit with Heavy Slam to pick up a win. That is absurd. Thank you, RNG. Thank you, Poke Gods. Thank you, Arceus, we should say. Thank you, Arceus. But let's put that one behind us. 2-0 oh, we're sitting in the brand new season. Looking to go 3-0, oh, going up against a Smeargle team. A little bit of Smeargle action with Annihilate, Ogre Pond, Urshfu, Ursaluna, and Ice Rider Calyrex. So another Ice Rider Calyrex team. Uh, White Guard Pelipper. Always going to be nice here, so we definitely bring him. Smeargle looking rather annoying. We could end up going into Pelipper and Salamence again. That's not bad. I mean, I like the Hurricane because Hurricane's going to be super effective on three of these Pokemon. Um, this could be Final Gambit Annihilate, which kind of looks tough, right? Would you be finished in Final Gambit Annihilate? I think he would be. So I think we're just going to go into these two. In case Final Gambit Annihilate wants to fly through. And then we're just going to go... 
Helper and Samacenta. Oh, wait, who do I have in here? Did I mess up? Yeah, there we go. And then go Samacenta and... Who's the last one I want to bring? Hmm. Probably roll them here. Yeah, that works. All right, cool. So we got our Salamence. We got our Pelipper lead. I think I like that a lot. One, because of Intimidate. Two, because of Hurricane. And three, because of a uh, Choice Scarf. Which can hopefully, if they do have Annihilate, it could be Final Gambit Annihilate. We can just outspeed it, hit it with Hurricane, and then Final Gambit can't really do too much. Or we might just pick up the KO. He doesn't know we're Choice Scarf, but if we think it's a Final Gambit, then they're probably Choice Scarf. All right, so let's see who they lead. It is an island. This, this, this is definitely making me feel like it's it's a. This is definitely making me feel like it's choice, right? Or final gambit. So I have to hurricane drop this thing. I have to. I have to. We do get off an intimidate. The fine's gonna pop. No big deal. Again, you're definitely final gambit more so than anything. And you're not clear amulet, so we love that. We love that. I want to terrestrialize right now. Not really. I think I'll save my Terra. I think we'll just Hurricane that thing and go into a Hurricane into that slot. Or do I Weather Ball? I think we just Weather Ball. Got Lark Sound. So I think he wants to go for Trick Mirror rather than Glacial Land. So Hurricane's going to fly here and it's going to bring you down the red. Are you going for Gambo? No, you are coaching. Are you? You're, you might be going for. You might be going for uh, Glacial Lands here, which is kind of scary. We should have just went for Wide Guard. We should just went for wide guard. Half damage is beautiful. And you got a berry. Okay, berry instead of clear amulet. That's fine. You are eek or neutral on attack. And you're going to pop trickle. So now it's a good time for me to just wide guard, right? Now's a great turn for me to wide guard. Um, Annihilate looking a little scary. What could it do? Rage Fist, Strain Punch. Nothing too crazy. We don't wanna really want to Thrasalize just yet. We might just want to Hurricane and attack here. Might just want a hurricane attack. I mean, you could swap an Annihilate. PS plus one, but I mean, swapping an Annihilate into who is going to be your call. I think we just launch a hurricane into the, into this slot, and we just go into the wide guard. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And then maybe, maybe Terrasalize Salamence next turn. Let's see. We're in Gambo. You're going to go for the Glacial Lance, which is a great call on our end. We could have taken out the Annihilate, but I, I just think attacking this Calyrex is our play, because you might just be coaching up again. You might just be coaching up again. No, you're going to go for Rage Fist, which is okay. I mean, Pelipper should soak this. Which it does. Beautiful Pelipper. And this thing's going to take Rocky Helmet damage to die? Let's go. I will take that. That's big time for us. That's big time for us. Hurricane's going to fly. How much damage are we doing here? Not bad. Ducks? Yes! Yes, finally, we get some duck RNG. We needed some ducks. Well, it's one thing to get ducks. It's another thing to waste out a turn with ducks. So, I could wide guard here. Um, he's going to go into Smeargle. Smeargle's ready to fake out. Mm. Maybe Terrasalize in our boy here. Is in our best interest. I'm going to Terrasalize. And honestly, I'm just going to throw a... Throw this into Smeargle, right? And we'll go for wide guard just in case. Because wide guard might come out before fake out. It might have higher priority. But we're Terrasalizing just in case. Because Glacial Lance, we really don't want to die out to that. And we really want to land a Hurricane into this into the Smeargle just to get off some damage because honestly this thing could just sit here and spore me all day and we don't want that we don't want spores there goes fake out in the Pelipper that's fine that's this is why we thrash lies he's gonna take some rocky helmet damage so if he was sashed it ain't working anymore ducks coming out here can the ducks prevail give me a ducky turn we get a ducky turn we get a ducky turn that's a big time ducky turn that's a big time ducky turn because hurricane gonna fly through here and finish off Smeargle we love it. We love some RNG happening here. We love a little bit of RNG happening here. Always feels nice for RNG to happen on our side. So Ursuluna's going to come out here as their final Pokemon. Um, They're probably going to read the Y Guard at this point, right? I feel like they got to read the Y Guard. I feel like they, they have to read the Y Guard at this point. Got two turns left in Trick Room. I can protect with both of these guys if I want to. Or I could just fake out a turn. Um, they're going to read the Y guard. There's no point in going into it. Might as well just try to attack here. Might as well try to attack. Blood Moon comes out here. Going to go after Pelipper, right? That's fine. That is fine. There's no way you're going for Glacial Lance. I mean, if you are, that's totally fine. We should be able to soak it. No problem with this Steel Typing. 
probably going for high horsepower more so than anything. I still think we soak it. And you're still ducked. You are still ducked up. Another wasted turn for ducks? Nah, ducks, ducks ain't going two in a row. We live on one, which is absolutely absurd. And I'll take a 1 HP band, and Hurricane is going to finish off Calyrex. So this is looking beautiful. This is looking perfect for you, boy. Looking a bit too perfect for us. Um, we could go into Zamazenta if we want to. I think going into Robin is in our best interest. Uh, because we can fake out, waste out the last turn of Tailwind. Unless they have Terra, but their Terra is usually normal, right? I was gonna say, they could have Terra Ghost. A few Ursulinus do rock that, but I think for the most part, normal Terra is to play. So from here, honestly, we're just gonna keep ripping Hurricanes with that Chewy Scarf, with that Stab Boost, and we're just gonna fake out here. A little bit of fake out action. And they just cancel match, so 3 0 to get this season started. I love this Salamence team. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We are one win away from Master Tier in the brand new season, sitting 3 0, which is awesome. Like I said, I absolutely love this team. Let's go back to it. Let's showcase this team one more time in our rental squads. And here it is right here. Check the details. And there it is. Salamence. Absolutely amazing today. I love the choice scarf on it. I love Intimidate. Intimidate is obviously one of the best abilities in the game. So you can't go wrong with that. And then it did some big time damage with Dragon Pulse and Hurricane. Also, obviously, we had Salamenta. Pelper, always solid in Reg G. And Tink Lu, Robum did some work. We didn't get to use Shen Pao, but I mean, you guys seen Shen Pao plenty of times on the channel before. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.